as a hotbed for both car makers and bike makers. There's a lot of potential in the market. Then why stop the fight? Well, this is Green Signal with me, Vijay Neeraja. Stay tuned. Bigger the better. Well, there's a worldwide assumption that Indians love small cars. Well, if you're getting an SUV that's a huge car for the price of a small car, why stop at a small car? Isn't it? Well, barge it up because it's raining compact SUVs in India. The latest in the market is Nissan Terrano. Let's find out if it's a good buy. India is a land that loves SUVs, but with urban congestion and cost of living increasing at the same pace, compact crossovers are gaining prominence in recent times. After the duster, Kondo, Eco Sport, Nissan's contender in this space is the Terrano. Nissan in Europe has used the Terrano model name for quite a while on mid-size SUV. But in India, the name has been resurrected to bring out the entry-level SUV offering. Available in both petrol and diesel, Variants of Tirano are XL, XL Plus, XV and XV Premium. Available in six shades, Fire Red, Sterling Grey, Blade Silver, Sapphire Black, Pearl White and Bronze Grey colors. Well, it's time for us to check out the exterior of Nissan Tirano. Well, Nissan Tirano, as you can see, the body structure is huge and it's more sophisticated than a Renault Desta. When you check out the front, the most eye-catchy of the front appearance is the grille. It has a newly designed grille and when you talk about the grille, they call it the SUV heritage grille of Nissan. And the headlamps, it's beautifully blending into the grille, giving it a more sleek design. When you talk about body bumpers, it comes in the same color as that of the body. And it has a same tinted glass for all standard variants. And when you talk about the ORVMs, electrically adjustable ORVMs comes in body color too. It has other features like rear spoiler, roof rails and of course it has chrome finish for the exhaust tip. These are the most important features of the exterior of Nissan Terrano. It has diamond cut 16 inch alloy wheels to the car. Well this car gets, I mean this vehicle gets more stability because of this immense big alloy wheels. Nissan Terrano is based on the Renault Duster but looks much more muscular and modern in comparison to Duster. In terms of design, Terrano gets all new hood, front rear bumper, new tailgate and alloy wheels. The exterior of Nissan Terrano gets a unique and stylish look with its trendy headlights, laminated windscreen up front, top variant having rear spoiler and roof rail, 15 to 16 inch alloy or steel wheels, rear defogger, rear washer and wiper, and adjustable external wing mirrors and much more which gives this SUV a pretty unique and advanced look. The interior is definitely Porsche and it will astound the customers. Why I say it's Porsche? Because of course the dashboard, it's more sleek, more shinier and when you talk about the top variant, it'll get a piano black finish for the dashboard. Now it has, uh, for the top variant, it comes with leather wrapped steering wheel, it, they have a chrome insert for the gear knob lever and uh, when you see the instrument uh, cluster, it's brilliantly done, the instrument cluster is brilliantly done and of course the air conditioning, it comes with four speed options. You have lots and lots of pockets in uh, a lot of holders and pockets, even here you can see that you can keep your shades here. Here. there's a pocket here for that and of course cup holders map holders side pockets armrest and uh, eight 
tilt adjustable uh, driving seat and lots of options in the interior of this car. The interiors of Nissan Terrano are much better and appealing in comparison to the Renault Duster. It features all new rectangular AC vents, new steering wheel, gear knob, chrome inserts and new design for the wood inserts. The interiors are quite spacious with good quality fabric upholstery in simple variants, while the top variant is expected to have top quality leather upholstery, spacious dashboard, a large instrument cluster, powerful AC, friendly gear knob with metal finish, power steering wheel and many other features to add to the glamour of this beautiful SUV. To add to the comfort of the passengers, this SUV has many advanced features which includes advanced HVAC, adjustable driver's seat, all four power windows, advanced parking sensors, adjustable reading lamps, air quality control system, vanity mirror, armrest, trunk light and a quality music system with CD, MP3, FM radio player which have a connectivity to add to the quality and to make things more comfortable to the passengers. The boot space of 475 litres can be extended by folding the rear seats and has ample space for good leg room. Knee room, head room, shoulder room and elbow room. It also has plush seats with good lumbar support to add to the comfort features of this SUV. Let's talk about the engine of Nissan Terrano. Well, the engine and performance of Nissan Terrano is pretty good and that's why it doesn't feel sluggish at any given point of time. And it comes in two options, petrol and diesel. Now this is an XL variant, petrol variant, and this has a 1.6 litre powertrain that competes with the li likes of Renault Duster, Mahindra Scorpio and of course Ford Ecosport. Now when you talk about the diesel engine, it has a 1.5 litre K9 K diesel engine which produces two maximum outputs that is power outputs 109 bhp and 84 bhp. Terrano 1.5 litre DCI engine that powers most Renault Nissan cars. The rated output for our test car was in the range of 110 PS power at 3900 RPM and 248 Nm torque at 2250 RPM. There is also 85 PS 200 Nm version of the diesel engine on offer. While the petrol option comes in the form of 1.6 litre engine, that produces 104 PS car at 5850 RPM with a torque output of 145 Nm at 3750 RPM. The claimed fuel economy of the three options is 19.01 km per litre, 20.45 km per litre and 13.2 km per litre respectively. The 110 PS variant is mated to a 6-speed gearbox while its 85 PS counterpart and the petrol variant gets a 5-speed one. Both are manual gearboxes, but Nissan tells us that it could consider bringing out the CVT that is automatic if there is enough demand. The 110 PS variant has a tendency to be sluggish in the lower end of the rev range and this characteristic is pronounced when tackling elevations like hill climbs and flyovers. The 85 PS variant is better when it comes to low end torque. Once you are past the 2000 RPM range, the 110 PS motor gets in its zone and you have a decent amount of mid and top range. Overtaking does require a downshift or two on the highway. Cruising at 120 km per hour seems effortless and can get you highway economy of up to 17 km per litre. Within city environs, the Tirano 110 is good about 12 to 13 km per litre since you need to cycle in the lower gears even now and then.
keep the engine in its turbo zone and it will be a delight even around the twisties. There is a slightly stiff suspension setup which imparts sure footed handling characteristics which relatively lesser body roll. The grip from the tyres is quite good too. Though the suspension is set up to the stiffer side, the ride quality is pliant. There are occasional thuds when driving over broken roads, but most of the jerks are kept away from your spine. Complementing the handling characteristics, further is the steering wheel. It is quite a heavy setup to being with and gives a direct feeling with good feedback. While us enthusiasts will like it, commuters will find it a little cumbersome for city use. Especially in tight parking space, the steering feels a tad too heavy. The slim wheel ring and an awkwardly blotted horn pad adds to the inconvenience. Again, using the steering wheel from the Sunny could have. We checked out the exterior, we checked out the interior, we checked out the engine of Nissan Toronto. It's definitely worth a buy. We're talking about competition that's for EcoSport, Renault Duster. Well, it's more bigger and huge than a Renault Duster. It's more sophisticated than a Renault Duster. And when you talk about comparing it with Ford EcoSport, it comes with lots and lots of features when compared to Ford EcoSport. So when you are talking about compact SUV competition, it's definitely worth a buy.